Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. As you can tell from the title, today I'm gonna to be taking you through my sort of chill out, feel good evening routine. Before I get started with this video, I will mention that I don't do all of these things every single night. I kind of sway between having a really structured evening routine and having like, no routine at all apart from Netflix. But tonight, Nick is actually at a work slash dinner party function thing. So I have the night all to myself, so I thought I would do a proper evening routine. So yeah, just thought I should kind of make a little disclaimer that I don't do all of these things every night. I might incorporate a few of them, but not all of them. If you didn't already know, I live with my fiance, Nick. So we live in a one bedroom apartment. I think definitely it kind of changes up your evening routine if you're living with someone. And definitely if you have kids, I know that, that would be a completely different situation again. So my evening routine kind of changes throughout the week. So some nights we will be at the gym at night. So those nights are obviously different. And when Nick's home, I like to spend a lot of quality time with him but because he's away tonight we're gonna just dedicate all of that time to ourselves and yeah so I'll take you through my evening routine so the very first thing that I do in the evening is get into comfortable clothes so I am actually wearing a giant t-shirt I actually bought this shirt really recently and I have a habit of whenever I buy something I wear it to death but it's like the most comfortable baggy t-shirt and it's so long that you could you could basically wear it as a dress if you wanted to, but I've got like some just like comfy little drawstring shorts on underneath. So if you are wondering at any time if I'm wearing pants, I am wearing pants. If I was alone, maybe I wouldn't be. But the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off all of my jewelry. I don't know if you guys are the same, but I just like to take off kind of everything, get into my comfy clothes, and then I am going to make some dinner. I've made a really simple dinner for one. So basically what that means to me is I throw a whole bunch of vegetables into a tray with some, usually with some salmon, and I just pop it all in the oven so it can all cook together. So there's minimal cleaning up and minimal effort involved. And that's the kind of dinner that I like to do either on nights where it's just me or on nights that you come home and you just really couldn't be bothered to make like a full-on dinner but one thing that i don't like to compromise on is the healthiness of my meal so even though this is a really simple dinner it's super duper healthy so we have heaps of cauliflower we have our sweet potato i have some capsicum and some salmon and as you probably saw before i made a really big tray so any leftovers i'll just pop into a container and into the fridge but yeah so that is my simple dinner for tonight and after this i'll probably have a shower Dinner's finished, so I'm gonna have a shower, but before I jump in the shower, I'm gonna do some dry body brushing. So I think we've spoken about dry body brushing here on this channel before, but just a little quick rundown. So this is something that you do for about five to 10 minutes before you have a shower. So you wanna do it on dry skin as opposed to on like 
wet skin like you would scrub in the shower. And what dry body brushing does is it basically helps to stimulate our circulation and our lymphatic flow. So if you've been sitting down for long periods through the day, you can have some fluid accumulation like in your ankles. So we wanna get the lymph moving. And the only way that we can do that is either by moving, like physically moving, or by doing something like dry body brushing. So obviously I would say you wanna be moving as well, but doing some dry body brushing can help with your detoxification as well. Plus I just really love it because it makes your skin feel super duper smooth. It's kind of like a really vigorous exfoliating session. So on nights when I just wanna like feel really good, you will feel amazing after you do some dry body brushing. You'll feel like a new woman because you basically will be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some dry body brushing and I'll kind of show you guys like my very basic technique. If I can find a spot to put you inside my little bathroom. taken off all of my makeup in the shower so first thing when I get out of the shower I'm gonna put on some moisturizer so I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before but we both really like this one by Cora Organics because I have actually trialed a lot of different moisturizers from natural brands and a lot of them don't actually moisturize which you would think would be kind of a basic function And then the only other thing that I'm gonna use on my face, see my, my skincare routine guys is so, so simple. I like feel like some of you guys might be disappointed, but this is just what I actually do. So I'm gonna go in with a facial oil. So I use kind of two different ones. So either this one by Pure and Wild, but for the past few weeks, I have been trying out this Sapphire Skin Food Serum by Whole Soul Living. So this one was kindly sent to us. So I've been trying it for the past few weeks. It has blue tansy oil in it, I believe. And that is pretty much the extent of my skincare routine at the moment. The other thing that I'm gonna do, obviously, is moisturize. I'm still using this body lotion from Everyday Shea. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And then the very last thing that I'll do, and this isn't to do with skincare, this is just kind of to do with overall well-being. I'm going to apply some of the Ancient Minerals Magnesium Oil. So this is so nice at nighttime to just kind of relax your nervous system. Magnesium is a very relaxing mineral. It can be absorbed through the skin, so I like to apply it just after a shower, it does feel a little bit sticky, but I like to apply it like to my tummy area. So it's kind of like, I don't notice it so much. Like it would be very uncomfortable if I applied it like in the crease of my elbow, for example. And the other thing that I didn't do tonight, if I was gonna wash my hair, I would also apply some of the Innate Life Rose Hair Elixir. I really love this one and I've been using it for ages. Like I use this stuff religiously and it smells so good, but I haven't washed my hair today, so I won't apply any oils. But otherwise, that is my skin routine done. So now I think I'm gonna go make a cup of tea, have a little bit of a snack, and chill out for a bit. So if I'm being good, the other thing that I like to do is put on my blue light blocking glasses. So these are like the really old ones, so they're not very pretty. You can buy a lot more trendy ones these days, but blue light blocking glasses basically protect you from the blue light that's emitted from the television screen or from your laptop or your phone. So blue light can disrupt your circadian rhythm, so it's important to avoid blue light as much as possible at nighttime. And these goggles are really good for that, so if I'm being good, I wear the goggles. 
otherwise i'm going to enjoy my little snack and my cup of sleepy time tea and i think i'm gonna watch some grace and frankie so let me know as well in the comments below what are your favorite netflix series to watch i don't watch a lot of tv basically the only tv show that i watch is married at first sight <laughs> and we're on the lookout for a new series to watch at the moment because we've kind of like watched all the good ones by now. So yeah, if you have any favorites, let me know below. So before I head to bed, the other thing that I like to do is write my to-do list for the next day. So I'll think about what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow and just plan out everything so that I'm not still thinking about it when I go to sleep. And so it kind of like gets it out of your head. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I have two moleskins. So I have one that's just a plain moleskin. That's great for writing to-do lists. The other one that I have is the proper planner one, which is good because it has like a lot of free space to write in. Oh my gosh, I'm just dropping everything. I don't know if you guys can see that, but basically you have the days of the week and you have this big sheet over here that has heaps of space for writing down to-do lists. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Okay guys, so I am literally sitting in bed. So one of the last things that I like to do before I go to sleep is a little bit of meditation and a few other little things. First thing that I like to do is diaphragmatic breathing. So what this involves is basically you put one hand on your chest, one hand on your stomach, and you wanna make sure that when you take a breath that the hand that moves is the one that is on your stomach so that you're truly breathing using your diaphragm and not just doing these shallow chest breathing so basically i like to sit and do this for i don't know about five minutes it just really helps to pull you into that parasympathetic state which is basically our rest and digest so helping us to wind down get relaxed and get ready to go to bed so that you can have a really good sleep and wake up refreshed so after i do some diaphragmatic breathing the other thing that i like to do is a short meditation so you can use the headspace app or the other app that's really good is the calm app so the good thing about the Calm app is that it has the different sounds so you can choose to meditate on your own or you can use some of the background noises that they have so if you're living in an apartment like I am sometimes where there's a lot of noise going on outside you can turn on the sound of rain falling which is really nice and chill. The other thing obviously is it has a lot of different guided meditations. So if you've never meditated before, definitely I think you should start with a guided meditation. So either Headspace has 10 free meditations or the Calm app as well has a few on there. But basically meditation helps to do the same thing. It helps to put you in that really relaxed parasympathetic state, which is perfect for sleep, helps to reduce stress and basically make you feel really good. And I can get lazy at times with meditation and then I come back to it. And I always feel better when I am doing a more regular meditation practice. Plus it just makes you feel super chill and super zen. And after that, other thing that I like to do is a little gratitude practice. So again, this is something that I get really into at times and then maybe I don't do it as much, but I know that I feel really good when I do it. And basically what that involves is if you prefer, you can go ahead and write down a few things that you're grateful for at the end of the day. For me personally, I don't write them down physically. I just make it a mental point to actually go over a few things that I'm really grateful for that day and really like generate that good feeling because it's kind of more about feeling gratitude and feeling that kind of joy of being grateful for stuff rather than just like words if that makes sense so yeah that's how i like to close out my day and yeah then it's off to bed mm -hmm.